team up with the Mita Social Equity Mentorship Program. For me, especially as a black woman, it means righting or wrong. I want us to be just as represented in ownership and profit as we have been in arrests and penalties and sentencing. And we have a chance to build this to where uh, the people that were impacted the most by prohibition, uh, particularly the people of color, uh, have an equal shot. You know, Mita has done incredible things over the past 16 weeks. We've had incredible speakers tell people how to get into the industry, uh, talk about financing, talk about partnering up with other people. All we want to do is make sure that these people that were harmed in the industry get their due and are able to make a wonderful living. The African American community and also honestly those um, living in poverty areas are being suffered the most from the war on drugs. Um, so I really want to make sure what our, our dispensary stands for is giving back to those communities. We want to hire those who's been affected with felonies. We want to hire those who've been taken from their family and gave them a way to make an honest living so that they can show their families, their kids, their their mothers, their fathers, their friends, that you know you can come from nothing and build yourself up to something. This was a, a great opportunity for entrepreneurs who want to get into this space. Social equity is, is part of the Prop 207 law, and it's aimed at providing opportunities in cannabis for um, communities that were disproportionately impacted by the war on drugs. We want to participate. We want minorities to participate. Uh, black, white, brown, women. Uh, persons of color, uh, perhaps other minorities, to be able to get a license to actually operate a dispensary. Well, we're able to compete with those that have everything going for themselves right now. The Cannabis Equity Program. It gives everybody an equal opportunity to be on the same playing field, to have the advantage that others are having who may have maybe more financing or more uh, abilities to create a, a business as opposed to those of the minorities who don't have that opportunity right at their hands. I'm on quote Team Dimitri and Team Mita to help provide as much information, knowledge, education, um, connections as possible for those who may qualify for social equity licenses. So leveling this playing field will allow us to give back to those communities most affected. In the black market we participated you know with the prison, industrial mm -hmm. industry, and the rest and the incarceration, so now we want to go to the bank too. I am the faculty program administrator at Scottsdale Community College. We also have a social equity program, so people in the community can make donations so social equity applicants can afford to take our classes, so we're able to get a scholarship. And, um, and then we also customize training for employers. So if they're looking for someone to train your employees, we customize for uh, industry partners. I want us to make sure that we're putting the best foot forward for the next generation so that we can destigmatize what we think we know about marijuana. This is the concept of industry members stepping up to give back to those who are going to come next.